Hello everybody and welcome to my 57 VBA 2010 tutorial. And this tutorial is going to show you how you use spin buttons. So a spin button is just a button that has a little up and down on it and as you click it up it puts a value of a box up and as you put it press down it puts a value of a cell down. So they're very simple to use and they're very effective and I quite like using them because people are very easily impressed by them. So if we go into design mode again and go to insert and then come down here to the spin button, click on this and then put it in wherever you want it to be. So you've then got it there available to use and if we go to properties and we go to our linked cell and we link our cells to the cell we want to use, so I want to link it to the minute, so C8, C8 and let's put in our sheet name first, so sheet one, exclamation mark, C8. And then come out of design mode, and then whenever we click on up, it puts the cell up, value of that cell up by one. And when we put it down, it puts the value of that cell down. And uh, you can ha put restrictions on it, so if we go into here, you can have a minimum and a maximum value. So as default, it's 0 to 100. I'm going to set it at 0 to 500. And then close this down. And then now we can go all the way up. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. And you'll notice that it's actually taking quite a while to get all the way to 500. But if we just keep patient and keep going and then get lazy and put it to 455 manually. Notice you can still type over the box and then keep going. And then when it gets to 500, it's going to stop. And so that's quite useful to have different things on it. If you notice that it is going really, really slowly, uh, then you can actually change the delay. So at the moment, the delay is 50. If we put the delay in as one, and then come out of design mode and then you notice that now it's actually moving along a lot faster and so that is how you would speed it up and slow it down it's just changing that property value of delay i'm going to leave that one at 10. i'm now going to copy this so if i'm in design mode i can actually just copy and paste buttons and what I'm going to show you this one, so this one's going to increase it by amounts of one. This one's going to increase it by up by 60 minutes, so hours. So if I go into my properties and I go to my small change down here, at the moment it's set to one, so it changes by one each time. I can put this as whatever I want. So if I put it as, as um, 60 and then um, come off of it, come out of design mode, and then when I press up, it's going to add 60 onto the length of this. And at the moment, it's too sensitive. So let's put our delay up a bit, 50. And then do it again. And then we can do it in nice steps of 60. And then we can add in the rest of our minutes there. Uh, you'll notice I tried to put in 0.5 a minute ago and the small change actually doesn't accept say 0.1 or something like that so if you want to have increments of 0.1 then you need to go onto your properties and you need to link your cell to a different cell so let's link it to f8 and then in f8 we have a value and then in here we go equals that value divided by, let's say, 10. So now we've done this, you press up on it, that one's going to go up by 1, that one's going to go up by 0 0.1. So if you want to have a change that isn't a whole number, then that's the only real way of getting around it. What you can also do, so we have our mumps in here that I've sneakily hidden in black. If we get them back out again, and we stick our month numbers down the side, then we can have VLOOKUP and then these two commas to comma false and then remember that we have to type VLOOKUP at the, the equals at the start. Uh, if you're unsure what VLOOKUP is then if you look in my uh, 
uh, advanced or intermediate Excel tutorials, then there's all the formulas you'll need in there. So, one false. So now we've done a VLOOKUP style on 12. And let's make these so that they're actually full series. And then when we press up and down in here, it's going to change the month name because this cell's changing to the different numbers and then that's looking up the month name accordingly. So that's how you can have different text values in there. And that is how you would use spin buttons. And that's going to be it for this tutorial. And in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use a list box. So thanks for listening and I hope to catch you soon.